Welcome to the group chat with Jess and Manana. Do you feel like you like stare into myself when you do no, that? No, like I hate like, it every time. We can't like like honestly. I think we just need to start like looking at the camera. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome to, to the group, group chat with Jess and Manana. I I didn't look in the camera actually. I looked in the sky. <laughs> You're just like I anywhere but Manana's eyes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes and, that moment is like wait like what. Because we're both talking oh, and like yeah. staring at each other. Yeah, yeah. It's not like a conversation. No, I know. It's like we have to get the shit together. Yeah. You know what? I just started realizing that you're doing, which what? I'm so happy for you. What? Is, so I feel like like when you grow up with siblings or just like people, you have nicknames for them. Mm-hmm. And like, but the other, like the remaining remainder of the world doesn't know that. Yeah. Wait, I'm going to need you to scoot a little to your left. Like to your my chair. left? Okay. Like your chair a little, a little bit. Um, I, th- I think How about you, it? I think you sat Okay sit a little to your right Okay You're not doing it Go back Okay better Thank you Cash me outside How about it? Uh uh-uh. uh It's too cold right now No I just got fuzz all up in my mouth What is going on? <laughs> no what is going on? Yeah I don't know Okay So I there's so many I get a lot of questions about like oh not a lot of questions like the whole world is like curious on this but I do get like enough to where I'm like oh like people actually are curious and like they do not know when we call Milena Mensch like yeah. saying Milena sounds so crazy out of my mouth Milena yeah, I don't like it I and like you were doing it before I was doing it before and like mm-hmm. you would call me Manana like my name is not Manana to you it's Manon yeah and like Milena is not Milena it's Mensch right so I noticed you did it yesterday. And then after you said mensch, you like you, I know what your brain was thinking where, like, I think it takes a second to be like, wait, should I say mensch or Milena on your story? Every single time I say yeah, it, yeah, yeah. I'm I like, know. should I say Milena or mensch? But, or the same thing. I, there's two people I struggle with that Eka and mensch because my, our friend, um, Alina's nickname is Eka mm-hmm. and I'll say, and she like, will swipe up and be like, no one knows who you're talking about. Like no one knows her as Eka. And then Mench, no one knows her as Mench. It's always, even though her username is Life of Mench. Yeah, it is Life of Mench. Like, but then when, like, her dental world, like, it's like yeah. Dr. Milena. Yeah. But also it gets confusing because Mench is a ma- man's name in Armenian. I think that's so ugly. Yeah, me too. The other day, someone messaged me. For a me, man. The, yeah. Yeah. Someone messaged me the other day, yesterday, and goes, my name is Manana. Oh, my God. I met Amanda Manana finally. And in my head, I'm like, that's not your name. Yeah, because, because I'm it's, pretty it's, sure you, our mom and dad created your name. No, like, nobody has my actual name. You, That's probably your nickname. Like, in Armenian, when people, like, you had a friend named Manan. But yeah. that's not her real name. It's Mariana. Yeah. <laughs> but I, we do know somebody whose actual name is Manan. Who? Um, our accountant's daughter, Manon. I, like, 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 like legal? it's actually Manon. Is it Manon or Manana? Manon. Okay. So, so Americans say Manon or probably Manan. Manon. 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 Fucking no. <laughs> Fucking your shop. <laughs> no, absolutely yeah. not. It's Manana. If people called me Manan in like, like English, I'd be like, don't call me like, no, like people would be like, oh, can I call you Manan, Man, Nan? I'm like, no, man, please call me Manana. But some of your friends used to call you Nan. I know. Only two people, Haley and Megan. Yeah. Um, oh, and it was always Megan, Nan. Yeah. Nan. Hey, Nan. Um, it's cute, but it was like only reserved for them too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anybody else? I'm like, but what were you saying about you loved that I've been doing lately? Oh, because like, I think they're the most important characters in our lives. And it's so nice. I'm sorry. Can I adjust settings? <laughs> yeah. You're a, you're shining bright like a diamond on here. <laughs> Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Do you think you'd be like actually a good performer? No. I think I'd be an incredible performer if I could have some auto-tune. Yeah? Because you'd probably be better than Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Wait, you went to Nicki Minaj. I need to know. That was actually the best intro for it. Yeah, you gave a little bit of a ex- explanation as to why you guys didn't like. I Queen pre-gamed Barbie. it. Yeah, yeah, I pre-gamed it. Listen, okay, so <laughs> I didn't know Nicki had like such a wild fan base. I didn't either. Le- no, that was like a shock to me. A shock. Uh, and I loved the energy in there. I think there was a total of six straight people in that room. And Juan and I were one, two of them. Like, the energy was 
insanity. Uh-huh. Honestly, I loved it because everyone was dancing. So we were on the floor and everyone was dancing around mm-hmm. us. It was just a great vibe. Mm-hmm. The DJ to set it up got everybody so hyped that we were all, I am not kidding, exhausted after his set was done. Really? He played all of the best music. I love he, that. No, like I told I looked at Juan and I said, he's the DJ for our wedding. <laughs> This, this is, is the man. Wedding DJ. This is the man. And yeah. he's the only one that will be able to do it. Yeah. Like, like, forget YG being our performer. Nah, you can't say that. No, like legit, because he was insanity. If I were to have okay, because we've talked about this before, like within siblings. Yeah. Um, that wait, sorry, what if was we I were saying? gonna have oh, one performer. If, yeah, if we could have like one performer at our wedding, who would it be? Mine is thousand percent YG. Like, it will always be. I just can't change that. Like, do I love Hannah Montana? I would love Hannah Montana at my wedding. I would. I've been listening to Hannah Montana for two days now. You should watch the Hannah Montana show season four and five. Four and five. Okay. It's like when it's like when she's like in her cuter era, like that short cut. Bangs. Like oh, the that's bangs my favorite era. With the zebra top and like the, the striped um, big stuff. belt. No, that was like pre, that was like beginning oh. Hannah. This is like when she cuts her hair mid length, gets bangs and it's like she gets layers mm. and she's like super cool. Then they move into the new house. The new house is when I get a little sad because it's starting to end. I know, but it is so good. And yeah. then Hannah gets like her, ex- like Miley actually, Miley gets like her extensions and like Dolly Patton is like on there and stuff. And like she like yeah. exposes to the world that she's actually two people. I love hannah montana so much but there's something in me that like makes me sad when i watch it because i loved her so much when i was younger it like makes me sad to watch it now i have a hard time watching it i know what you mean but it is one of like the the best the one of the best shows a thousand percent ever and um i wouldn't even have a something i don't know what it is like i was watching zach and cody for like months like it was just on replay and every time i'd watch it i'd be like oh my god i love it even more like i wouldn't get sick of it Mm -hmm. and the way that the show like the last episode was so weird i don't remember it it was so weird i one thing i hate hated about shows like friends did this i'm sure like if people watch the office office did this any type of like sitcom they would like do like this like an episode where it was like the roundup of all the other episodes that they've had mm-hmm. like flashbacks you know oh i hate I that. hate that stuff yeah me too and that's what the last episode was like who is who is like Mr. you guys couldn't think of anything else literally like who is mr tipton going to be firing and that's like they're like oh no but i did good for this oh no but you did bad that you know what i mean yeah like i, I wasn't messing with it yeah hope my hair is looking okay we just shifted from hannah montana to hair um because i washed my hair last night and i didn't blow dry it which inevitably means i have to have terrible hair until the next time i wash it <laughs> so i put it and i just spray spray painted Hair sprayed it just a little bit and... I think it looks fine. I think I look like a, a bit of a founding father. No, I actually like it. Thanks. Why do you think that? Because Let me tell you, I, I like your hair down more. I know. And I was keeping it down more lately. Down. Calm down. Calm down. Down, boy. <laughs> down, boy. Wait, I could like... Okay. I actually think... We're, well, I'll go like back to Nikki and tell you guys all the all the reasons why I didn't like it. I could like really like if I were to like cast like go on like a show or something like I feel like I could cast as like a man. Ready? Listen. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> yes. Can can I help you? Like it's giving um what is it giving? It's giving like some no. sort of crazy character. No, it's giving like a will. Yeah. Hello. I'm on you now. I could do a really good British accent. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, that's. I don't like. The <laughs> I don't <Irish>. like <laughs> the Irish accent. I'm scared. <laughs> you see, that should be the thumbnail. You guys, she's been got, getting me messed up with the thumbnail. Same with me. The if point. you don't make that the thumbnail, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> No, she but made herself the thumbnail. She was like holding the coffee like this, and I was like this. No, but the point. No, none of the thumbnails I look good in. The other one I was like this, bitch. With your coffee, and my eyes are rolled back. Wait, Jess. The every single one that I like. Anytime I make a thumbnail, like it is ugly of both of us. I'm glad you think that. 
No one else thinks that. No, I you. love that you think that I don't look ugly. Definitely not. Go Wait, a so a little bit to your right. Yeah. Fab. So today I I play tennis. Okay, we are going so off topic. See, yeah. this is why this sis- is what happens. This is why sisters are just fabulous. You can yeah. talk about anything. No, but listen. Today I was playing tennis. On the speaking of like you saying that like I look great and you don't think I look bad. We were playing tennis and it was so windy today. I'm like I'm like hey you want to reschedule? And she was like no. This is actually great to play in, ten- in tennis in the wind. I'm mm-hmm. like no. All I wanted today was for somebody else to cancel because I I don't I don't want to cancel. Yeah. I don't like to cancel. So then I'm like hitting the ball and stuff and I'm kind of like getting shifted and I go, I go, oh my God, coach, like the wind is, coach. Me, I go, the wind is making me feel so skinny. And she, <laughs> and she laughed because well, I'm like getting feathered away, you know, yeah, I'm like a little you're feather. you're just so light and tiny and skinny. I'm getting like twiddled away. Like yeah. I'm going to be like an, another atom in the universe. Yeah. Another little f- speck. Speck. Is yeah. it right? Like an atom, nuclear and, and protein and nuclear. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> what like it's actually proton and neutron yes proton and neutron proton neutron electron, electron. <laughs> wait did we just wait, say like actually? character traits <laughs> wait i think we just said characters of something no the proton no, the proton neutron electron proton neutron <laughs> <laughs> i did this in front of our dad the other day i'm on another heart attack i'm like I stop was, no i was l- sh- looking straight at him and doing it to mana I'm like i know when he's gonna turn <laughs> <laughs> no that like dinner my dad was looks up and his daughter's doing this no that dinner was yeah jail i actually left and i would i didn't recover from that dinner for two days sometimes family dinners can get a lot uh, two days <laughs> oh i was pissed off the next day oh i know i was angry there's people there's people in my life that are triggers but i also love them deeply but they're triggers and the moment they trigger me it takes me five to seven business days to recover yeah Back to Nikki. Back I'd to have to recover from Nikki her. Nikki Lewinsky. Nikki Minaj, Nikki Lewinsky, Nikki the Bob. Uh-huh. Okay. So I didn't expect the crowd to be what it was, but I loved it. I just didn't know the fan base she had because I grew up listening to Nikki. Mm-hmm. You listen to Nikki. Mensch, Juan. Everybody. Everybody. So it's like everyone listens to Nikki, but who goes to the concert? You know what I mean? Who yeah. are like the diehards? So Juan told me they're called Barb's and I didn't you know. You didn't know that? No. I didn't know yes. that they're called Barb's. I thought she was like the Barbie, you know? No. So we so we go. And you know what? I actually wrote down all of the things that I didn't like that she did. <laughs> Wait. Let me tell you something, okay? I after this, like, did I lose respect for her? No. But will I ever go to a concert like that again? No. I something that I learned from this concert was to honestly like youtube like the performers Mm -hmm. and see how they are on on stage no one's ever gonna think like should i go to Nicki minaj is she gonna be bad everyone thinks she's gonna be 100 percent. so that's what i'm saying like no matter what now moving forward i'm googling every person that i'm gonna go to because she's she's an insane artist but she is i didn't like her performance and Mm -hmm. i don't think she's a good performer for so many reasons i've been to a handful amount of concerts and one thing that i think is so key is crowd work and like getting really interactive with your crowd especially if you have like a fan base we went to morgan wallen and he is not a good performer but at least his music is insane and like the audio was great and he doesn't have like this fan base like there no one's called like the morgans like yeah he has like she has the barbs you have to like and interact with them and she's decades of being an icon you know what right. i mean okay so one of them was her audio. and she's known for being hilarious so you kind of have to yeah we were waiting for her personality to show out right she showed it one time when she was like she's like the men are here fumbling fumble in the bag and she goes how you gonna drop the queen <laughs> like she's just, i love her like she's funny you know yeah, she is but that so was funny. the one time where i was like yo show more like i wanted this is what yeah. people paid for the audio was bad that's sad like it just felt like not good production like you know like when you go to like the grammys or something in this and the stage is so small but on tv it looks huge mm-hmm. that's like exactly what it was when what? they yeah she where came, was it um a, a, not allegiant t-mobile T-Mobile. okay so when she came out one she came out two and a half hours later which is okay Two and a half hours. Yeah, she came on at ten thirty. That's really crazy. And usually they come on like at nine thirty max. You know, mm-hmm. like maybe ten ten. Like, what are you doing? No, I don't know. So then she came out and she didn't come out yet. So they started the sc- the 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 screen was like the main thing. So that replay twice and like the 
the show that they had like this AI, it was like this AI of Nikki, like going through like the plane and then a car and like smoking weed and like all these things. And then it replayed again. And we're all like, what? It's like, dun, dun, you know, like the, the cabinet speaking or whatever. Yeah. And we're like, what is going on? So then she comes out and she really like, doesn't go up and down the stage. Like she just stays stagnant. She went up and down. Maybe like, honestly, I can count like on my hand three times. So, that's the, so odd dude she did it she wasn't like hello vegas no like, nothing in one of the songs she goes vegas won't you save me and that was it like that's the only time she like recognized like the city she was in like she didn't like her fans definitely feel so disappointed that they I weren't think so like too. felt they didn't feel like loved by her i think so too and i'm not like a diehard barb do i love nikki yes, yes. but i'm not like a barb you know yeah. so if i was like like if justin like bieber did that i'd be like yo like he really just did this for like the money. It yeah. felt like, you know, and I would feel so heartbroken. Yeah. But again, like I love her music, right? All the best parts of her songs. She didn't play. She, when she played big difference, like, um, you know that song? Yeah. Um, how does it go? Like, what's like the best verse of it at the, it's at the end. It's with Drake. No, no, that you're thinking about needles. Oh, I don't know. She like, didn't rap the most important part. And I'm like waiting for it. And, audios cut out this and that and then when she would go change her outfit jess they would play another ai video for five minutes you know what everyone was sitting down everyone would sit down juan even went and got water and came back and it was still five minutes on. is crazy jess and this happened four maybe four times jess it was the craziest thing we're all like what is going on so like she would get everyone hyped quote unquote but because like she wasn't really get getting anyone hyped like she was just playing her music and like if you didn't know the lyrics you couldn't really hear the words like when drake when we went to drake and he was rapping like yeah. we knew the words he was saying even if we didn't know the song right and i don't no, drake's know drake's concert was incredible it wasn't incredible it was good it was definitely good. He's a performer, though. Right. Like, he gets everyone, like, I think rowdy. his concert was incredible. It was really it was really good. It was. Yeah. The best concert I've there been to was is Pitbull. very little production in his concert, in Drake's. Like, there wasn't too much to it, but he's such a good performer. Yeah, he is. And he had, like, all those stuff floating. Like, it's interactive in you a way. You see, the best performer in the world, who is also an incredible singer, is Justin Bieber. Pitbull was probably one of the best things I've Oh, Pitbull... No, now, Pitbull is a he's a star. No, he is a star. That is that I've been to his some. concert three times. Every single time it was incredible. It is because it's like one of the, it's classics. You don't know that you know all the Pitbull songs until you go to fucking Pitbull. And concert. you go and you're like, wait, I just had the best time in my life. Yeah, no, like you have to like, but you like you want to dream. And the people in there have the best vibes. I wish he was performing this weekend. That would have been so Who? fun. Pitbull. He was. I oh, wish. Oh, oh, for your birthday. OK. And my last thing to say was. I think, oh, 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 at the end, she randomly left the stage. J Jess, when I tell you randomly left the stage, you're like, oh, okay, another outfit change. Then this other singer comes out and wants this whole time thinking it's Nikki in an out a different outfit. I'm like, Juan, that's not Nikki. Like, people are singing like, like, she's like a soul singer. Okay. Her name is Monica. She I looks so similar to Nikki. You guys were debating if it's her or not. Well, I knew it was at her. Juan's like, no, this is her. I'm like, no, Juan, it's not. <laughs> this Wait. The, it, the, the row in front of us already left. People like were leaving. Jess, when I like people were leaving. That's so Monica came out and I'm like, I don't know this girl, like this woman. Like apparently she's an icon. I'm sorry. Like if I don't know, I'm sorry. Yeah. I know people this world. Started singing and I'm like, Yeah, like I don't I don't really know what's going on. And then Juan was like, You wanna head out? And I'm like, Yeah, let's go. Like, but I I just like I don't think we'd be ups like not upset. We are not upset at all. But I just wish we got our tickets like literally the day of yeah. instead of like spending all that money and like going. And that's like, what's sad. It is. It like sucks. And that's why I think like as a performer, like you just have to like be a little bit accountable. Right. You know what I mean? Like don't go on tour if you don't think. No, don't get me wrong. I've the moment you start tour. doing the moment you start doing shit for money, that's when things yeah. start to go downhill. I can't say like oh give y your absolute best to every single show like i haven't been on tour i can't imagine how difficult that <laughs> no, is no like can you imagine every like, like that is terribly just difficult. sometimes like us like doing a podcast we're like we're so tired but like let's go right you know this so is imagine, like a whole performance like like but not everyone can be a taylor swift not everyone can be like a beyonce right like that is a different level and and again you can be a great artist but you also don't, you can't be a performer. Right. You just can't what be What I was going to say is that 
the whole production as a whole could have been good and if you know you're like if you know you're not going to be able to like give your absolute best to every show then don't do as many you know do like once a week don't do five shows a week you know yeah, what i mean because then people, people will travel for it to come see for sure come see you and like that's what sucks is like yes you can have bad days but you're almost not allowed to have bad days on days that I you're know performing i looked at juan and i'm like no like she, it, it's so weird because like we don't think about this but I, I turned to juan when she was performing and i'm like juan she's like at work right now like she's yeah. clocked in you know she is at work but because i think she also has like a little bit of a ego she thinks like you know like everyone's gonna love what i do anyway like oh, for i'm gonna sure. act like however i want oh, for sure you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. so i want to say like hers is a little bit of selfishness yeah, yeah, the yeah. way she yeah, acted yeah. with that like, like I'm Nicki Minaj. I want to say if Lewinsky. Justin, like Justin Bieber didn't feel good. He canceled it. Yeah. Whatever. That was annoying. But at least people didn't go. Yeah. Like if I went and he didn't give a good performance and he was like disappointing, I would have been so sad. 100%. I agree with you. So. But other than that, the, my weekend was pretty cool. We got 100% confirmation of the, of the, of the puffy we're getting. I know. I'm so <laughs> excited. No, like. This was yesterday. We got 100% mm -hmm. confirmation. Oh my gosh, you guys. I didn't expect to Can't like. Can't wait for Miss Yojik. Okay. So let's, I'm going to, so I'll briefly say what her name is. So when we got Bonchik, we, I've always wanted to name a dog Bonchik, I think it was. And then I was like, I don't know if people are going to get it. And then Juan was like, no, definitely go with Bonchik. It was mm -hmm. going to be Penelope, I think. Yeah. Your friend Mia gave me the idea. And I was like, I love Penelope. I've always loved that as like a, a daughter name. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And it matches her. And Juan's like, no, like definitely do something like a little more cultured. So that's when we went with Bonchik. Bonchik is a Armenian donut and Bonch and we own a family bakery. And I love Bonchik's. Bonchik is, that is like Bonchik. Like no, Bonchik's name is, Bonchik. is perfect. Yeah. Like her little nugget, like it's literally a little Bonchik. Like she, her color is like the donut color. It's everything. Everything is perfect. So when we were thinking about getting the second girl, we're like, okay, like, what will we name her? And I was like, Yojik is so cute because we were originally wanting a chocolate Cocker Spaniel. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's perfect. A Yojik is another Armenian pastry. You know what I'm having for my birthday cake? Yojik? Yeah. Oh, well done. But vanilla. I know you all like chocolate, but sorry, I like vanilla. I like all of them. Okay. Um, and... And, we, and Yojik also means porcupine in Russian. Which I had no idea. Same. I found out like two weeks ago. Yeah. It's so cute. Like it makes porcupine? Even, that makes it better. Like she just looks so much. <laughs> God, I get, like, kill me. I get like mad. Like, I get like aggressive cute. Mm -hmm. oh. Wait, I literally posted about this on TikTok yesterday. I said, why is my first instinct I to eat, eat or punch things? Yeah. Like I want to eat you. I want to. Sometimes I look at Bonchik and I'm like, I want to punch you. In the face. No, like <laughs> just. So cute. We wake up in the morning and she's right there. I'm like, I'm going to punch you in the face bitch <laughs> choke like, you i love her oh yeah. so okay yojik that's how we like move forward with the name then yes. we met her we were like go so they like they are they go by like the color of their collar so there was lilac purple and red and th there was like eight other ones but those were like the three and purple was taken so it was between lilac red was taken no purple so it was between lilac and red you took purple no. My luck was taken, I promise. Jess, we had the call yesterday. Bible, you're wrong. No, Jess, no, no. You said they took lilac. Jess. They Jess. were mistaken? Probably, but I'm okay. telling you, like, yesterday, it's it was lilac and red. Okay. And, like, so we were, like, looking at them originally. It was lilac that we wanted. Uh-huh. And then we're like, wait, but, like, red looks so sad. And then we went on, and, like, everything that we wanted in a dog, red had. And I'm like, red is perfect she doesn't bark as much lilac barks a lot they said and like a lot of like little things that like we were like okay you know she picked red yeah they told you that red isn't social you're no. getting things confused yes you are no like, respectfully i swear to god no they said, i swear to god no they said red is more timid not not social red is more timid isn't this the one that had issues with shots vacuum i don't know she had an issue no, she, yeah, the vacuum came on and they got scared. Didn't she tell you red isn't going to match your lifestyle? Yes. You chose red? Listen. No. Uh, what? No, like you're not, you're actually not listening. No, because the other day you literally told me you I chose I know. Purple. No, no, no. It's, okay. 
you're about to die yeah i'm so confused listen that's like that's like you being like hey i love the color pink and then you're like continuing on like why you start liking the color red and i'm like no but you said you like the color pink i am listening but i'm beyond confused because when i was here you chose it so listen and you'll get the answer continue instead of telling me to listen (laughs) is this what i get for putting your bitches on but when i do it you're like don't don't imitate nikki Oh, no, the Spotify ain't got to lie. Nobody can imitate that. You can imitate that But is this what I get for putting you bitches on? Anyone can yeah. say that. Or, or this one. You bitches can't even spell Prague. It's the walk. Walk to the private jet. <laughs> okay. So, yes, she said all of that. But the more, like, she was with them or whatever, she's insanely interactive with other cats and dogs. Like, she says that she's very curious about other cats and dogs when we were looking at both of them like lilac was just like very independent like wasn't really playing with other cats and dogs was very needy and like was Mm. like whining and like like just had like was more vocal Mm. and we asked like okay two vocal dogs but is not vocal yes she is no she doesn't bark at people not barking yeah yeah yeah, no yeah but she she, but she goes if if bunchik wants your attention she'd be like yeah she howls yeah yeah oh goodness okay i don't want to talk too much about my dogs i feel like people don't care but i have to like update everybody of course so that's when we were like i was like juan like i think that like red is our girl so we were just like watching her more asking a lot of questions and like we know she follows me like we've i'm like this is what our lifestyle looks like we take bonchik everywhere with us like yojik will be the same um who's like more easily trainable you know all these things because the moment the day she hit six months she's out in utah with tice for two Aww. months no i'm excited for her it's the best thing in the world to get but them it's trained. easier it'll be easier this time because you still have phone cheek. oh my god it's easier and like i just know i know what to expect right and she's going during a really good season <laughs> you guys should have seen phone <laughs> cheek when she was in training y'all she did not look Bonecheck's not. She's, she's just not a, a hood rat. She really no. is a princess. You guys, so I didn't give her a haircut before she went to Utah. So I'm like, oh, she's going for the winter. Like, I want her to have a thick coat so she's warm. You guys, her eyes were crazy. It was her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I like, was like, <laughs> no, it's sometimes she has those eyes here too. So I'm like, I know. I know it's like her personality, but when like you have wh- to find those pictures. Oh no, I'm not. I'm, I'm never gonna look at them. <laughs> Mom like cried when she saw. Them. Mom <laughs> she's was about like, to drive to Utah. <laughs> she's like, go get that dog right <laughs> now. And then when Archie went, like my sister's dog, Mench's dog, he was having the best time because <laughs> yeah. the season was so good. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so we went with red, red girl, and I just love it because. One red is like my favorite color right now. Mm-hmm. She's born on my birthday. Let's like yeah. let's not forget about that. Yeah. You know, born on my birthday and Bonchik. So <laughs> this is like such like a first world problem, and I love it that this is like our problem. When we went to Goyard, we're like, oh, like what col- <laughs> what color are we gonna get? Like Yojik, you know, because uh-huh. Bonchik has the orange one. And I'm like, Juan, it has to be red. You know. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, it has to be red. Like red Goyard is like one, so beautiful. It matches my bag, mm-hmm. like all these things, you know. And when we like, it, it was just like obviously like a little thing that's like hit me, and I'm like, Juan, like yeah. we now have to get her the red Goyard. Of course. Like this is a non-negotiable for Miss no. Yojik. Of course. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. We get her next Saturday, so um, that's basically like my weekend plans is figuring out her her life and the adjustment yeah. because i am honestly really scared everyone says like same like you're gonna have no sleep you're like all this stuff but they say she's pretty well potty trained but when they go to a new environment it's so different mm-hmm. um my my blessing is bonchik she's gonna do everything bonchik does she's that and then they also say like puppies um the the older puppies tend to also like latch on to like the puppy behavior so i'm praying to god bonchik doesn't do that if she does, that girl's going to get her second training round yeah. by me. Um, and it's not going to be the way Mr. Tice does it. No. I'm be like, Miss Bone Cheek, be- I'm going to behold your, f- I'm going to withhold your food. You're going to get, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. Withhold your food is crazy. <laughs> like, I'm not going to feed you until you do right. Uh, no, but she will, what I'm saying is like, she will be playing with Yoj- uh, Yojik. I wonder what she's going to react, how she's going to react. I like, think she's going to be excited. She's going to be gentle. Yeah, because when we see like little dogs here, like um, Dala, 
Dala, Dala. Dala, Dala. Dala, like Dala, we have, it's like my neighbor's dog. And um, the funny story about that actually is the reason they named that dog Dala, not dollar, Dala, <laughs> is because they're like, oh, we're manifesting money. So every time we say Dala, like we're getting money. No, that's actually, I'm actually going to name my dog like man. <laughs> I was going to say someone's name. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but I can have my boyfriend and my man have the rich, same name. Rich, wealthy, private jet man. Rich, wealthy, private jet man. Come here. Rich, wealthy, private no, jet man. No, you private jet. You come here. Private jet, come here. Private jet. <laughs> Speaking of Dala, that was my plans this week, this past weekend. What? Went to see Dom Dala at oh Live. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving our transition. Me too. <laughs> I we're dumb. too good dumb dollar <laughs> dumb dollar dumb dog have you heard of him no so friday it was super chill for me um i had a research paper due on friday night that i did just i don't know how we can stop you from procrastinating how do i we don't do that? either i have to like set one day in the week where i do my homework like i come i but you need my help someone just messaged me happy birthday like why would they think that no and it was on like a photo of me just out of the shower <laughs> wait what like why would they think it's your birthday I today i actually don't know anyways like do we only shower on our birthdays yeah. you know what i, mean? I do <laughs> yeah i know i've smelled your armpits oh oh um let that could you breathe just <laughs> could you breathe anyways um Dam dala. i do have to stop procrastinating oh. the issue the thing is it's not like i'm never doing nothing it's not like I yeah, just you're like shopping, waste you're, my day. You're I swear to God, I'm posting all day. I know. When I look at you, I'm like, I actually don't know how you work and post because I can only post. Like, I record and then I post. That takes up my whole day. No, because you edit. Like I do. You don't need to do all that. Like, you don't need to, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I like your morning your your morning coffee stuff like you editing like you t- you're talking stuff but you absolutely do not need to do that you need to figure out your captions it's so hard for me to watch stories when the captions it literally don't work. says captions couldn't load every I don't time understand why it does that almost if it's not up there that's what it said don't Google understand it. i think you need to f- yeah. like maybe you need to update your your app something. maybe anyways um saturday i literally had the best day like if i could create the best day It was almost that Saturday. Yeah. I, as far as like what I was doing, not exactly what had happened, but like the plans, uh, Beller backyard Mm. just opened Mm -hmm. on Monday, but this was on Saturday because our girly works there. So Mm -hmm. she works with click. So we were there for like their training. Mm -hmm. Um, it is so cute. Like everything's aesthetic um, the food was delicious, so it's a great spot to be for summer. Yeah. Um, we went. Their we food went. is always good. Like any type of station casinos, like food is Especially so click. good. Like oh Miho, yeah. Miho and Bel Air are click. Yeah, yeah. Insane. Yeah. They they do have good food. Yeah. So we were there, chilled. Um, you like? It's so funny that lately I'm realizing like. Actually, everybody goes to the same places. You're going to see the same people everywhere. Dude, I was driving to Juan's house and I'm like, that guy, you, you, I used to see that guy at the gym. Yeah. Like Ooh. he was just walking. I don't even know and his name. And you're like, wait, I know you. Every single day I like do things. Vegas like, is so small. So small. Yeah. When you go out, like you're, you see the same people. Mm-hmm. When you go to like Durango, you see the same people. It's like a little, we're, we just live in a little small the town. The funniest thing was. I see this guy. I see this man at the gym every single day. I see him and his like girlfriend. Mm-hmm. We I went to take my mom to get her surgery or our mom yeah. to get her tooth surgery. I see a photo of this man on the wall. I said, <laughs> what's he doing here? It was mom's surgeon. Wait. I'm like, wait, this is weird. Oh, my God. How and then wild. we met and like both of us were like, yeah, we know each other. But oh, my God. How wild. Yeah. Did you didn't say anything. No, I was like mom and dad. I'm not no. like, I see you at the gym. Be like, oh my God, you work at Lifetime, right? Nah, I didn't want to. Maybe if dad wasn't there. but Yeah, like dad like literally makes everything for me. Like I second guess absolutely everything whenever yeah. I'm around him. Like uh, everything. Yeah. So I don't I don't blame you for thinking yeah, like I that. Yeah, I was like, maybe if it was just mom, I would have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. So then what happened? Like Nothing talk about your met. day. You're saying you had the best Saturday. Oh, we went to Bel Air. Uh-huh. Literally chilled. Literally, literally. If I say literally one more time, 
ran into my trainer and just like so many people and then at night this was unplanned like i was not planning on doing this at all but we went to live which is a new club here kind of new sucks we went went for a birthday a few months ago terrible yeah compared to the other ones yeah this time it was a little bit better because it was dom dalla and like not a little bit better a metro boomin he wasn't there but yeah He's like one of the best. I know. I was so upset. That's annoying. Who I really wanted was John Summit, who was at their mm. pool version, mm. who at their day club. Mm-hmm. I love him so much right now. Why? He his music is so good. Oh really? Yeah. It's EDM, no? No, not really. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh like where you are, listen to that today when you drive. Uh by John Justin Summit. Bieber? John Summit. Where you are, okay. Where are you is Justin Bieber. Oh, okay, okay. Where, where you, you are. are. I get this feeling. I want to be where you are. That. He sings it? He's the DJ. Oh, it's it's the girl. Hi, I Hayla. I get this feeling. Yeah. yeah I love that, that song. Anyways, uh, we had a great time. And then. So Sunday, it is EDM. Kind of. but It's like Calvin Harris. Yes. Which yeah. I love. Yeah. Yeah. It's like summer vibes. Good yeah. vibes. I got you. Um, We got home at 6. Six or seven. Yeah, because mom was calling me at 6 a.m. No, I don't understand why you guys don't use your resources. What happened? I posted on Instagram. I did. I told her. Yeah, I said. I knew you would. Yeah. I said, I just know Monon would have looked at my Instagram <laughs> first. I don't know. Well, I saw Mench text. And I'm like, you didn't look at her Instagram. <laughs> I said, I said, Mench, why didn't you check my Instagram? You know what's crazy? Mom called me. Mom and everyone called me at like 7 a.m. I'm not joking. You guys missed me by maybe 15 minutes. I said 15 minutes before that. No, I saw it was like 603. You posted like food. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is Ekka's. It's a paper plate. Obviously, I'm at home. Yeah. It's a comforter and I'm eating God boss. I'm not eating God boss at uh, no stranger's house. No, you're not. No, you're definitely not eating that in anywhere else but an Armenian house. Exactly. And I told her, I'm like, mom, she literally just posted. I was like, she's definitely OK. She's sleeping at Ekka's. I told mom I'm going to sleep at Ekka's. What I forgot to do was tell her that I'm there. Oh. My fault. That was she my said fault. you turned off your location from her. My location has been off for maybe six months now. Oh. And I act like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, she goes, when she wakes up, Mana, tell her to turn her location off with no, I'm ev- not turning it off. To turn her location on with everyone. I go, okay. I like, told her it's on. I don't know why it's not working. <laughs> girl, I'm not doing all that. Mind your, mind your own business. Mind your business. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do just that. I'm going to mind my own. Yeah. I it sounds just, like a great time. And then she texts, she texted me cussing my life out oh yeah i said you're so dramatic i met at gus <laughs> <laughs> okay if my daughter like if i send my da- well mom she's also like wild yeah she with is. the way that she texts you're like no like you would think that like we just did the craziest shit and we're the most terrible people and in we're the like world. literally like putting like needles in our arms like behind like yeah. a gas station like from the way that she like texts like oh my god i cannot believe you like and this. we're wearing no clothes yeah i'm like when we're home like we're all good but I just can't imagine like having a daughter like, right. yeah, L- listen, I actually think if I, ha- when we have, when we have kids and they're girls, like I will just show up at places and like <laughs> not tell them, you know, what? but I'm not gonna like, they're not gonna know that I'm there. I'm just like looking from afar. One time. But that's jail. I can't do that. <laughs> no, you can't. Oh my God. I'll show up. Cause I'll like, be the fun young. Because yet. I don't want like, I don't want to know what the fuck my kids are doing. No, me neither. <laughs> like, One because time, the listen. shit. What we were at Win, and this is the first time that I like stayed out really late without you guys. This oh. was just with Eka, and this was the night that I got my ID taken. Oh. <laughs> and we're just like waiting and waiting. It was like 3 a.m. She texted me, cussing me out. She said, I'm gonna come to Win right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you bet your ass I called the Uber right then and there because I know she would. No, she wouldn't. Yeah, she would. No, she that woman is all talk. <laughs> Man, I am like the like the living proof that that woman is all talk. No, honestly, like she don't. She says all this, then she don't do nothing. You know, you've trained her well for me because you went skydiving <laughs> and <laughs> tell her. Everyone- I actually did. No, Jess, it's crazy that mom like respectfully. Mom does not have good memory. Yeah. Like it's crazy that she doesn't know that she has the video. She. Ha- I she's well, she seen knows the video. Now. No, 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 just she's seen the video. That video is nowhere to be found on any social media platform. She has seen the video of me skydiving. She has seen the photos. She's when she was calling you in the moment, you weren't answering. 
No, that was. Or another, you went camping or something. No, that was a yeah. That was the time when oh. I went camping and she. Oh, that yeah. was camping. You weren't answering. Did, is everything recording? Yeah. Okay. Am I good? Yeah. No, that was not like she knows. Oh. And, and I can guarantee you that Dad also knows. He, I asked him one time if I can go skydiving. He said, don't ever ask me shit like that again. And I said, um, I'm going to go anyway. Yeah. That was like when I was like wild. And he's like, he's like, are you not going to respect me or whatever? All this stuff. Like we got into a fight. And then I like went downstairs and I was like, listen, okay. Like I'm going to like, I hear you. I'm sorry. And then he's like, okay, because you apologize, you can go skydiving. And after that, I was like, okay, yeah. I'm going to go skydiving. I'm not yeah. going to ask for your, I'm not going to ask again. I'm just going to go because yeah. I got your permission. Right. You know what I mean? You just sometimes got to do things and listen. What to live. I always think, what is the worst case scenario? Worst case scenario is. They kill you. No. Yeah. They kill you or <laughs> you're going to die and they're not going to do that and you're not going to die. So just do it. And you and know that's what else I, live I my always life. think? My parents would, God forbid this ever even comes to like a situation. My parents would never kick me out because I would never do something for them to. But I always think like if they do, like I have two sisters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, you're good. <laughs> you're good yeah you want to know a funny story what when i was like seven or eight something like that i had heard our parents um our uncle and our aunt malan's parents talking and they were like they joked and they said oh jess we're gonna put you up for adoption (laughs) they joked i don't know like why they even said that and i want to say for three years after that like i would literally cry thinking like my parents are gonna put me up for adoption oh that's so sad my sister and i um who? Eric. Mench? Eric literally never calls me. No, Wait. Eric. Stop. Mench? Eric. Bitch. Oh, the... The, the yes. sister. Mench. We shared a bathroom so she could hear when I was crying. She walked into my room. She's like, why are you crying? I'm like, two years ago, mom and dad, they said they might put me up for adoption. Now I'm scared. <laughs> she goes, don't worry. If they do, I'll adopt you. Aww. Which was so sweet. That's actually a sweet answer. Yeah, I would be like, like, Jess, they're joking. I was like, no, you you like don't have enough money to buy me. <laughs> <laughs> to buy me? I don't think you buy when you adopt. Yeah, you do. No, I think you adopt. That's the point of adopting. But it costs a lot of money. No, Jess, I think that's... No, I don't think that's how it works. No, you're definitely paying the agency. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the agency? <laughs> like you're going up for like... Like you're like in a foster like, home? Yeah. Jess, yes, if you're in a foster home, sure. But I don't think like... Like, like you would just not ask <laughs> <laughs> You can't afford me. <laughs> you can't afford me. I'm way too... I'm way too expensive. <laughs> way you too just can't. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious and that's yeah. a great answer and i still say that you can't afford me and i everybody. like i would never think to answer like that yeah i would just well be one like, time i fine. told you i was being bullied and you told me you're probably doing something to deserve it no because like you always have to look at the other <laughs> side <laughs> you have to look at like you know both sides I every opened story your door told you you said it i closed it right back up <laughs> <laughs> like, my hand was still on the handle <laughs> Like, okay, mistake number one. Don't come in my fucking room. Yeah. Knock first, bitch. (laughs) And you probably did it. And that's when I was like, he did. You and I were not cool, though. No, we weren't. Like, anything you did, I was like, shut the fuck up. (laughs) Hey. Hey, who sings that song? Okay, let's Let's keep keep it that way. way. (laughs) You know what was one of our biggest fights? I don't know if you remember. If one of us was eating something and then the other one started eating it, too, it was like, why are you copying me? Wait. (laughs) Don't eat. I don't remember. (laughs) Like I would be like, why are you copying me? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, you would be eating something, and then you would start eating, and I'd be like, <laughs> Jess, I don't remember this. Are you telling me I the truth? I remember a lot of things. Bible. <laughs> Wait. And one time it was I remember ramen. Everything. I remember specifically because we used to have like boxes of ramen in our pantry. That is so crazy. Yeah. Like we would eat that shit. Like I think my body is still processing it. <laughs> <laughs> my guts still so not well. Disgusting! Oh my god, and that is hilarious. We would, like that's just like the epitome of sisters, though. Yeah, and like, then mom would always tell us. Sorry to interrupt you. Mom would always tell us when you're older, you're gonna be so grateful for sisters. Or when other people that had sisters would say that, and we were like, No, but I nah. fucking hate this bitch. Yeah, I'm like, as a matter of fact, I'm waiting to turn 18 so yeah. I can leave. As a matter of fact, put this bitch up for adoption. <laughs> <laughs> she's actually not part of this family. Yeah. And no one was going to buy her because she's <laughs> too expensive. Actually, no, she's she's cheap. <laughs> so everyone wants No one her. wants the cheap one. I'm dead. Okay. We should probably dive into our segment. Yeah. <laughs> Every time we like forget about our segment. I know. Because I think there's just like so much in this world to talk about. Yeah. And the funny thing is like, I'm just not 
I don't. I, this is probably the most I'll talk in in a day. Yeah. Like I, as much as like the the amount that we talk in a podcast, this is the most I will talk like in any day mm-hmm. in total for like the whole twenty four hours. After we finish these episodes, I'm like, wait, I actually don't want to talk anymore today. Like, I'm like I'm exhausted. tired. Yeah, yeah. Because it also like takes a lot of energy. You said it takes a lot of energy. <laughs> wait, you just went like this. It takes a lot of energy. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> like, do you ever like know like sometimes like this is what you do with your mouth? Me? Like people? Oh. Like you just like like. No, but I was thinking about this today, and I do this. Like this is my resting face. I don't know why. This. Like, Yes, I don't know why. When I'm doing workouts and stuff, I notice myself like... Oh, that's funny. I don't do it to pucker my lips. Mm-hmm. It's just my resting mm-hmm. face. Mm-hmm. You train okay. them. Our segment for today, <coughs> we also have to do ask it and receive today. Oh, yes. <coughs> I love... But so you remember... Gonna, like, you remember the story, right? Yes. Okay, cool. I can give, like, spark notes on yeah, it. Yeah, because it was really, really so long. Because of that, Caesar. we're going to trim the fatal floss from three to two. Beautiful. Hey. Yeah. Go for it. Okay, we're going to give our fatal flaws. Um, <coughs> wow, I really don't Which know. Which is so hard for me because I have none. Which is so hard for me because I have one too many. I, every day I think of like, damn, this is my fatal flaw. First, I mispronounce everything. I mispronounce, I mistype, I misspell. I, I, didn't, I didn't recognize that. Really? You. Gang recognize gang. Gang I recognize gang. I didn't recognize that. I mispronounce everything. Everything and I also you have this problem too. We both use words in incorrect contexts. A hundred percent. But you know what? If I use it in that context, that means it was appropriate. God willingly. God willingly. (laughs) God willingly, like you were correct. Okay, we're back. Damn, I don't know which one to choose. I'm just gonna quickly say all three. Sure. I talk over people. This is I'm don't know if you've noticed I've worked on this a little. I don't talk over people as much. But when someone's talking and I have somebody say like it just like spills out of me like i, I can't know. stop you know? I know, I know you should work on that because when you get in a relationship you have to fucking hear people out <laughs> that sounded you? aggressive no like you have to like hear them out you can, like right. you have to like let them finish their sentence and then you're like okay like i got actually, some time to learn how to do that huh i got some time to learn how to do that you do because you're gonna get put up for adoption and then by the time like you get out by the time out, someone ad- mensch adopts me yeah and then i'm back on the market yeah for ad- other reasons back on the market <laughs> Like, you just have too many markets going on. Yeah, just I do. Just figure to one. And then my last one is, when I get a headache, I automatically think I need coffee as opposed to water. Because <laughs> I've had water in a month. <laughs> that, that's a fact. Yeah. Like, when I get, like, hungry, I'm like, okay, like, let me just Oh, I coffee. need coffee. Not, I should probably have a sip of water. No, you, your story killed me the other day. You're like, um, your TikTok, it was, it was like, my seventh coffee and I haven't had water in a month. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> literally that was me i don't drink enough water nowhere near enough I but let me tell you something i have a hard time drinking anything other than like we've talked about this mm-hmm. I'm sweating like literally no like i'm sweating no like i feel oh my god god bless me or dry like i feel like i'm sweating and i'm but like nothing's there it's no just it's just hot badly i can't wait for that day okay so other than like my hydro flask or like my stanley um but sorry Jess you like threw me off my topic you just told me well now that like I have to chill here because when I edit the video like it has to be in the same position <clears throat> so but I started drinking out of like the big mountain valley bottles mm-hmm. and it's so much easier to drink and I'm like okay if I drink one a day I'm good well I go through phases sometimes I'm like I mm-hmm. feel like the mountain mm-hmm. valley makes me drink more water mm-hmm. sometimes I feel like the hydro flask. yes and then the other 300 300- 45 days out of the year where I don't drink water, I'm like, I don't really want water. Yeah, I'm the same exact way. And I think that's from our dad. Our dad yeah. never drank water. I chug water in the morning and that's pretty much it. Yeah. At least you do that. And then I go to my workout and I'm like, oh, I'm fainting. He's like, what did you eat today? I like ate normally. You know, I'm a E. One thing about me is I'm a E. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I didn't have water today. Yeah, that's a big thing. Yeah. Honestly, I started um, having fruit before. Um, the fuck like what is all this lint on my fucking pants? i've noticed you're eating more fruit i'm trying to cut back on fruit because it's honestly all i eat oh really <laughs> yeah oh yeah then definitely don't do that okay mine is my three i'll give three if yeah. i feel like it okay i will order more items on the menu than needed like just so i can try everything but I i've gotten better to. at it no, no no i've gotten better at it 
because i'm like okay i'll just come back for it you know i'll come back and like try the other stuff but like i'll be like okay like let's like i also want to like try some things like i'll never be that like we'll, like juan and i will never be those cu- that couple like when they get one entree one entree Mm-mm. nope we're getting like i don't even care for entree food same i like the appetizers i love the appetizers <laughs> one time and we get this from our dad too we went to a restaurant one time and he's ordering not one time every time yeah actually every time my dad points to the menu he goes just straight down the, appetizers. the line she starts laughing he goes and we're like no he's being serious <laughs> no like one thing about my dad he's actually never joking no he's always serious with food <laughs> so get that man every appetizer that you see on this menu yeah my second one and he's the skinniest man i've ever seen because he chews 80 times before he swallows his food every bite i refuse to drink any water other than out of an aesthetic beautiful bottle get that plastic fucking cup away from me Mm. i'm cussing too much in this episode get that plastic cup (coughs) bottle away don't give me no paper plate don't give me no plastic uh, cup none of that give me glass you know what's weird what sorry to interrupt you since oh look look, (laughs) we got to work on your fatal flaws um i know you hate plastic cups and plates since you've moved out we literally never use it mom hasn't bought plastic plates in i don't know how long or cups good we don't use any of that well thank god because i talked to her about it oh really yes yeah it's really ugly if you post food in a plastic plate it just doesn't look good it could literally be no boo sushi i don't care it doesn't look good no it doesn't and don't give me that and then you can put mcdonald's in a real plate and it looks fabulous no like don't tell me it saves time cleaning actually empty your dishwasher if you clean it immediately it is so clean it is so easy to clean dishes just do it i don't wash dishes i only put it in the dishwasher dishwasher. yeah it's like a hit or god bless the dishwasher okay my last one i am the worst texter yeah you are Ooh, and i hate i hate that because like i've always like been like so good at like replying to people and like i'm always like why don't like people like it just takes a second to reply i don't know what the hell like unless it's very urgent like then i will reply but i if, if it's like a fun conversation or something like you're gonna hear back from me probably never probably never i have been worse at that too like before, and it's not I and i'm not immediately like, no no and I'm, it's not something that like i want to be like because i've had friends that like suck at texting and i'm like dude like we're making plans like mm-hmm. let me know your availability you know but that stuff i'll reply to but there's friends that i've had like that just don't reply and i feel like i'm becoming that and mm-hmm. i actually hate that so that is my yeah i'd say that's my no yeah <laughs> you said yeah we go to hell no you go to hell you're getting put up for adoption i'm telling you <laughs> that is like number one for me and that's not even a fatal flaw that is a that yeah. is really annoying the only person i'll quickly reply to is juan that's it yeah well i like have to talk to my friends now i'm like you guys i promise i'm not ignoring you because i think i made one of my friends feel like i didn't really want to hang out with her when i really did like i do want to hang out with her i just i'll look at it and i'm like okay i'll respond in a second and then I don't respond. I don't. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to talk about that other part I was going to talk about. Ron um, always says, like, he's like, I don't care how busy you are. If Elon Musk can, like, reply to people, then you can, too. Like, I get that. But you don't know Elon Musk. Like, I was, like, really thinking about, like, you don't know Elon, Elon Musk. Like, how do you know he's replying to people? Maybe he's not. Maybe he's not. And he has, like, people to reply for that reply robots. for him. Uh, <laughs> literally robots. That know what he wants to say. 100%. Actually, I have no doubt in that. Me, too. Um, I need that. So, but I get that. Like, Juan is, like. Juan is also very busy, but he always replies to people. But I don't think he has the, I don't think he has like all those people texting him the way that we do. Maybe our own businesses. Maybe our own businesses. Yeah. That was my answer. And finally, I answer. love that. Let's do the re- ask and receive. Now for our segment, ask and receive. Perfect. Again, if you have questions or need our opinion on something, email hi at trulymanana.com. H I, not H I G H. People think it's like hi, like I'm high. Like, oh, hi. no. And then people will be like, do you work at Truly? I'm like, no. Like Truly? Yeah, like the sp- spritz, like the seltzers. Oh, I've never heard of that. Yeah, they're like, you work at Truly? Truly mm. Manana? Trulymanana.com. Manana. Hi at Trulymanana.com. Yes. Okay, carry on. So um, this girl sent in this story. I'm going to give you spark notes. And I'm going to try to remember because it was for Monday. Try to Basically, remember. Try to remember. Um, 
try to do your best at like saying it efficiently like not like quickly but like efficiently where people are like following along yes. because this was like we would read it but you it was really like very long and i appreciate it because i think she needed to say because we needed the context yeah she needed to say everything but it, it would be way too long to like say on here right go on so her and her boyfriend dated for two years uh they lived together they were long distance for nine months because she was working in a different city. Then she moved back. They lived together and it was their apartment. From what I understood, he kept saying that it was her apartment. Like he was making her really feel like this hey, is your apartment. This is your home. <laughs> like he was like, say something. no, he was like, okay, like this is also yeah, your apartment. He, like it's not just mine. And the reason why she was emphasizing that is because he paid for everything. Mm -hmm. And she also wanted to mention that he like literally makes five times her income mm -hmm. like so it's kind of reasonable for him mm -hmm. to pay for it um basically they got into this huge fight um one night and he and she was like i need a breather i'm gonna go to my parents house and stay there for the night and he was like you can actually take all your stuff like this is my apartment and you're not welcome back here dead at that yeah. that is a really upsetting thing to hear um and then <clears throat> I guess the next day and since then, uh, he's been apologizing to her and saying like it was a heat in the moment type of thing and I didn't mean it, um, things like that. And then she, what she's worried about is like if she goes back to him and like forgives him, she's scared that it's going to happen. It's going to happen again. Okay. That is like a lot to, I think, uncover and a pretty serious situation. But my best advice is I always like to put myself in these situations and tell you what I would do if I was in that situation. You are very to the one side. What do you mean? You're very to this side. Go to your right a little. You mean my left? Yeah. Take your, more. This way? More. This way? Yeah. Oh. Better? A little more. Yeah. Okay. I would tell you what I would do. Um... <clears throat> one uh, that would be very hurtful and two I always like to hear people out so I would sit with him I would talk with him and see what's up like what the hell was that all about you know like there is no mine in a relationship I don't believe that mm -hmm. like there ha it, it, for example it's never crossed my mind that something of that I own is mine when Juan mm -hmm. comes over like this is his if he decides to move in here one day like everything is his Right. Do you know? Mm -hmm. So that's also like a mentality and, uh, oops, and some, in, in a way that like you grow up. Mm -hmm. So that's because our parents are like that. And I know Juan thinks that same way because his parents are like that, you know? Right. Another thing. So I would hear him out. I would see what he has to say. And I always recommend, like, I can give you all this advice, but at the end of the day, you have to like just trust your gut and like your gut will tell you everything when you speak to this person and to see like how like sorry they are and like because people make mistakes and mm -hmm. sometimes like we say things there's stuff that i've said like when juan and i have argued i'm like i didn't even mean that like i don't even know why i said that you right. know and i'm sure like he he's had moments like that like in you know conversations where he's like wait i didn't even mean to say it like that or like you just say shit that you don't mean and mm -hmm. that's why and and that's also like not okay it's not like a reason to like forgive somebody but um it is worth hearing them out and if you love them like it's definitely something like you can work on definitely. i wouldn't say that this is like a deal breaker it wouldn't be a deal breaker for me but i would let them know and in a second i would move out and i would make him work for it propose. i think that's actually great advice what move out yeah. and then move forward from yes there. like do you have to live with your parents for a little bit sure like that's absolutely fine but i would never um i wouldn't continue living with him to give him that power like take your power back um and another thing is you're in your i'm sure you're in your stages of like growing your career and there's nothing wrong with that and he should absolutely see that like one day he might ha make no money and you're the breadwinner you know like like there's no, I just, there should, I don't know if this is like a competition in his brain, like subconsciously, like, oh, I have to like always make more money than her or something. But, um, I don't know, maybe I'm getting a lot off topic, but I would just hear him out and see what he has to say. And if you really love him, then go for it. But yeah. like, I think if always, you love him enough, you should give him a second chance. Always, always like outweigh the pros and cons to everything. Like if this is really like the only one thing that like maybe something has happened, like, I don't know. It's worth, it's worth fighting for a little yeah. bit. I would agree. 
Yeah. I think the moving out and having like separate living s- situations would be a good idea. Oh, for sure. I think that would like really like make him realize like, oh, okay. Like I'm dealing with a woman. You know what I mean? Right. Like she knows her worth and like the confidence that she has. And I love that like you were honestly giving him a hard time about it because like the like a lot of people wouldn't. They'd be like, oh, okay. So right. it's, it's nice so to know that. You. You know, you have like a strong, um, what is it? Like a strong back? Backbone. Strong back. You have a strong backbone. Yeah. Yes. That's our advice. But please keep us updated. Yeah, please do. Okay, my weekend plan. Wait, we didn't even talk about your birthday. My birthday. Uh, so should we just talk about it next week? But we can give them like an overview maybe? Yeah. Okay, give them an overview of what we're doing this weekend because so. I'm excited. I wasn't sure if I really wanted to do anything because I just w- didn't know. You went then from I wanting to do nothing to doing the absolute most. No, I went from wanting to do the absolute most to absolutely nothing to now like a medium. Okay, you're right. My plans before were literally getting a sushi chef, having one big dinner at the bakery, party bus, and then club. That was my plans before. But now, and I was like, no, I'm not doing anything. I don't want to do anything. Now, we're going to do the exact same thing we did last year. <laughs> that you was see, so much Because Monon suggested, because I was like, for sure, Tao Club, because we had the best time at Tao. I think we single-handedly could bump up Tao's rates. I think I so, I tell too. everybody, I'm like, Tao's the best. Yeah, it is. I think I've been to every club here. <laughs> and I think That's actually crazy, because I haven't. <laughs> and I can tell you, Tao's the best one. It is very fun. The you feel is- the most free and like not that not that you don't feel free in other clubs but i think like subconsciously like single girls are thinking like oh like like who's around like who's watching me type of thing ain't nobody anybody hot over you there. ain't looking at anybody at no. tell like, like you're, you're there fe- for a good time you're there for a good time great place to go with your taken members of your group aka my sisters because you know everyone can just have a good time anyways and i was like <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, we're just gonna have a good time. Everyone's just gonna have a good time. <laughs> you know. And um I didn't know what to do for dinner and Mana was like, do Tao. I'm like, wait, I did that last year. Yeah, lit- like my favorite is like going from Tao dinner and walking up the stairs to Tao Club. Like Except last year we did Tao dinner party bus back to Tao. Oh, we did. Because we d- weren't planning on the club. Oh, you're right. Yeah. <gasps> wait, you're right, and not yeah. everyone came with us. Right. No party bus this year. Mm-hmm. And you know, kind of like that. Me too. Only because I f- I want everyone to have fun at the club. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I, want, I want the f- everyone always has a lot of fun at dinner and the party bus. And then by the time we get to the club, everyone's tired and sitting. I don't want that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good I point. I want everyone's vibes to be bumping. Ladies, leave your man at home. home. The, the club, club is full of bottles and their pockets full grown. grown. If you don't know the lyrics, don't sing it. Hey, who sings the song? Destiny's Child. So let's keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys thought so singing you too, because I didn't, I didn't know you Hold were on. in Destiny's Child. Hold on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ladies, leave your man at home. The club is full of popping and the bottle's full grown. And all your ladies hey, leave your hey. man in the front. Because it's 1130 and, and the club, club is jumping, jumping. You don't even know the name I of the gonna song. I was going to say bumping, jumping. It's jumping, jumping. Yeah. Anyways. Will you, will you promise me that you're like really going to like turn go, up this weekend? I can't promise you that. You, I will never promise turning up because I have to be in the right setting and the right vibe for it. Just respect. You don't like Sunday for me is a crazy work day. I understand, but it's no, my bitch, birthday. You don't. I know. So I want the vibes to be right. I don't want to be the only one jumping, As a, jumping. Like, to be completely honest with you, I actually always have more fun when I'm sober. I don't know why or how. I don't think so. Okay. Because you're young <laughs> and you don't know that. <laughs> like I have well, so much more fun when i'm sober and like i'm my bot like i know what's going on and i'm like wilding out okay you're gonna be tipsy at least yeah i'm definitely gonna be okay. drinking but i'm not like Anyways. i'm not I, i'm not actually oh girly girly's blinking red no for no, no. For, for battery how did okay, that almost we're die? gonna run it up anyways then friday i don't know what i'm doing i don't have anything planned except for a blowout then sunday don't know what's going on there wait friday's your actual di- birthday. birthday we're having family dinner saturday we also have a uh influencer event and then yes. sunday we're just chilling recovering right and that's it we're so excited i'm gonna be tagging along yeah we will see you guys next week thank you so much for joining in and we and have a beautiful and blessed weekend i'll see you guys when i'm one year older Woo. bye, bye.